Today, I'm going to be showing you this crazy new loophole that I just spotted a couple of days ago using Perplexity AI. And basically what's happened is Perplexity have had a brand new update. As you can see right here, they went from zero to 87,000 traffic. And you can see the traffic is just popping off right here. Now, why is that? It's because they've released a whole new update, which I'll come on to in a second. I'll show you exactly how to use it step by step. But essentially today, what you learn is one of the fastest, easiest and newest ways to rank number one fast. I'll show you proof of that in a second because of a massive new AI update that came out just recently to Perplexity AI. And this AI SEO site has literally grown from zero to 87,000 traffic in just a few days. You can see the chart right here. You can see the traffic level right over there. And anyone, including you, can publish on there. And I'll show you exactly how it works step by step for free so that you can easily copy and steal my process. I'm going to give you the whole template, the whole SAP, the whole shebang away for free today. Let's get into it. And we're going to be starting with perplexity. Now, by the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Julian Goldie. I own over 100 sites, built the SEO boardroom community and the SEO elite circle community with over 140 members and I have a link building agency working with over 100 clients. So let's get straight into this. So. Essentially, what you're going to do is once you've logged into Perplexity on the premium plan, so you need to make sure you're on the pro plan over there, but it only costs a few dollars per month. From here, there is a new update called Pages, right? And inside Pages, you can publish content to the internet based on the keywords you want to rank for, right? And I'll show you exactly how this works in a minute. But for example, if we go on to the keywords that this particular domain is ranking for, for example, like this page right here that's been published and you can see it ranking over here. It's ranking number one for its target keyword, generating traffic to the page. And essentially you can publish and create pages like this to your website and it's very, very easy to emulate. Here's another example, bit of a crazier example. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that page, but you get the idea. I mean, that's generating 14,000 traffic. It's just published by a perplexity user and it's very easy for you to emulate this if you can find the right keywords. So I'll show you how to create pages in a minute, but essentially what you would do first of all is just find keywords that you can realistically rank for, right? So if you're gonna rank with pages like this, for example, you want it to be monetized with something that's actually going to bring you money. There's no point in creating an article for the sake of creating an article, like it has to bring you money. So what you wanna do first of all is find a money-making keyword. So for example, on this page, I'm going for the keyword white hat link building services. You can see a picture of a geezer with a white hat on right there. And if I rank for that, I can get more clients to my agency with the links inserted throughout the content. So how would you do that? What you can do is just type in something relevant to your niche. Let's say, for example, you sell cooking courses. We'll type that into click so, like so. If you want to get 15% off, use the code Goldie. Then scroll down to phrase match over here. And then we'll go to like max difficulty 10 or less. All right. So says, and now you can see there's a bunch of easy keywords that you can rank for, right? So for example, best cooking course online, potentially that could bring in sales if you sold a cooking course. You could do this for any industry, any niche, any product that you sell. So from here, what you can do is if you go to library, then you're going to go to add page. And from here, you can create a page. It's kind of like a Wikipedia page, except all the content is produced with AI automatically. And you can generate this with a few clicks, right? So for example, you can see this section right here that talks about perplexity pages, how they work, etc. You can use it to grow your personal brand, rank on Google. You can create media inside there. You can customize the layout. You can add sources and links in there as well. And it's very easy to use. So let's say, for example, we've got this keyword, which is best cooking course online. I'm going to plug that into the title right here. And I'm just going to try something random, but we're going to go, right, cooking course online, Julian Goldie's best course online is his master chef cooking class. We'll hit enter like so. And now you can see it's generating all the content. Now, some of the content is going to go a little bit off topic, as you can see right here, which is totally fine because you can very easily write the content yourself again, edit it, stop it if you need to, etc. So if we click on stop over here, then we can click on insert section. Now, just like you would with any sort of website, you want to make sure that you're optimizing the content and the way that it's outlined, right? So, for example, you can easily generate that with something like Norman Writer, or you can just go on to the top ranking pages for the keyword that you want to rank for. 
look at how they've laid out the page, what sort of headings they've inserted. And then from there, you can easily get a feel for what you need to write about too. So just to outline how this process works so far, you're going to find a low competition keyword that will generate your money. KD10, easy to find with ClickSol. From there, with a premium account, you go to your library in Perplexity AI and create the page. Then using a content outline like we can see, for example, here, or by reverse engineering your competitors and seeing what's ranking on the first page of Google, you know exactly what to write about, what sort of headings to include, and then you can generate those headings directly inside Perplexity. How do you do it? You just go to add section, insert what the section is about, order it in the proper way on the page and optimize it in the way that you normally would. You can also edit the title. So for example, we can edit this title and say, right, best cooking course online 2024, hit save like so. You also get a decent amount of control over the page, but it looks really nice, right? So for example, I can edit the layout. I can change that to no header image, small header image, large header image. This image, I believe is generated with AI. You can reposition it so it looks a lot better, for example, like that. And you can also change the image inserted, right? So you get a bunch of image options right here. Or you can just click on generate image, select between painting, illustration, diagram, or photograph. So for example, photograph, we get a bunch of options like that. It's generating the content with AI and creating the content just couldn't be easier using this process. Or you can just delete it if you really don't like it, right? So from here, you can see it's also got a table of contents on the right. And so essentially you want the headings to match with the outline that you've created, right? Whether that's on NeuroWriter or whatever you use, whatever tool you're using. So for example, let's say I have a page targeting the keyword SEO expert New York, and these are all the headings that I need to include within the content. I can insert that heading into the content right here. It will generate the content as you can see. But the problem with that is that it's going to recommend other agencies that aren't mine, right? And obviously if I'm creating this page and I want to rank for it and I want to generate money, I don't want to be sending traffic to other sources. I want to be sending it to myself. So what we can do is you can delete sections like this. So if you click on more, hit delete section, and then you can say the best company for SEO in New York City is Goldie Agency by Julian Goldie. We'll hit enter like so. And now you can see it's recommended me, right? So it's got the SEO optimized keyword in the title right there. And then it's generated content that's recommended me Plus, it's doing all the research about why I'm the expert. And this isn't just like generic trashy fluff that's coming from ChatGPT. This is like actually well-researched information. So you can see, for example, it specifically mentions that I own the agency. That's the name of my agency. That's me. It explains that specifically I am the expert for the best SEO services in New York City. And then it's talked about how I have over 10 years of experience who I've worked with, so it's named some previous clients right here, what sort of results I've achieved, and it even links directly to my website. So if we click on this, you can see it's linking to my, land, to my landing page. If clients click on that and they try and get in touch, it's gonna convert into a sales call, nice. Same with my LinkedIn, it's linking to my LinkedIn profile right there to generate more sales. Really easy to do. And again, this is not spam. Like this is actually custom tailored with actual source context to the content. Now you might want to edit it. You might want to delete it. You might want to delete certain sections. It might go off on a tangent, etc. That's on you to change and iterate. But essentially, if you use a combination of the content generation right here and you have the right content outline, then you can create content that actually ranks for your target keyword. Additionally, it's linking out to your website, which is quite nice. Now, that's not for link building purposes. That's just for sending the traffic to somewhere that converts. And I would say if you use a combination of my manual quality control checklist, which I'll give you access to in this video, along with this process that I'm talking you through today, you're going to create something that's really nice. Now, additionally, inside this content, you can add certain media. So you can see if you click on add media, then it generates a nice little image on the side right here. We can delete that. We can change it. We can refresh it, etc. We could choose, for example, that one, this one, etc., and just keep swapping it out or prompting it to do better. You can also move sections down. So you can click on more and then move down. If you want to reorder the page in terms of 
making sure that the most relevant content is at the top and the least relevant content is at the bottom. And what you also see is that you get a choice between text, media and text, media only, paragraph, tables, and bullet points, right? So for example, we can choose to add a list here and we'll say, give me all the reasons why Julian Goldie has the best SEO agency in New York, right? And then it's going to generate a bunch of bullet points specifically explaining why I'm the best SEO agency to hire in New York. We can also choose between concise and detailed. So if you want to generate more content, if you need to increase the word count on the page, then you can click on detailed right here. And we'll say, talk about how to choose an SEO expert in New York City in great detail. And then it just runs through the content. It's still in bullet point list, but we can also stop that. And we could take the same prompt, change that, keep the text in there, and then change that to a table and then generate a table based on that. And then it creates a nice little table with references, which is quite nice too. If you look in terms of like user experience, it's actually quite nice. Like you can click through the table of contents right there. You can insert the images. It's nice and clean. The layout is good, etc. Then you can preview it. So you can click preview over here. And this is what the blog will look like once it's generated. And finally, once you're ready to go, you can hit publish. Now, what I would say right here is that because this is a new feature and because so many people are using it to generate content, there may be some indexing issues, right? So for example, I created an article 24 hours ago. It's not indexed on Google just yet. It will take time. And so what I recommend for that is a few different methods, right? So you can use Google Search Console. So for example, you can use Omega Indexer. You can use Giga Indexer. And those two will help you get your content indexed faster. You can also share it to social media and you can build backlinks to the page. But with a combination of all of those, you've given yourself the best chance of ranking and indexing your content and just getting a priority in terms of indexing versus your competitor versus everyone else using the platform. So just to recap, find a low competition keyword that will generate your money. With a premium account, go to the library create page, create the content outline and generate that content inside perplexity. Create and edit the content and then index it. You know how to index it step-by-step -step down there. So this is the step-by-step -step process for creating content, ranking it and indexing it using Perplexity AI, this is a brand new feature. You can see this was literally just announced this week. I think it was June the 1st, it actually got announced. So it's brand new. It's proven to work as you can see right there. It's ranking for loads of keywords and it's an easy and fast and smooth process. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this SOP step-by-step, -step, I will include that inside my free SEO course links inside the comments and description. If we scroll to SEO systems over here, it's called Perplexity AI Pages. And you can see the SAP in the video notes down there. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session, if you want everything that we talked about personalized to your business to get you more lease traffic and sales from SEO and make more money with your website, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. You will get an SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions that you have, and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. If you want more experiments like this, check out the SEO boardroom as well. It's popping off in there every single day. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.